Good morning. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you for having us. Oh, it's my esteemed pleasure, truly. You are wearing my favorite color today, Elizabeth. Uh, I'm very sad that I am also not wearing pink because we, then we could be just almost identical twins. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, I have to ask you, you decided to write this movie that was so raw and so based on, well, not based, but using the emotions that you were feeling with some serious, heavy tragedies that you've had to endure in your life, what made you want to get that real and that raw with us? You know, it's interesting. I came up with the idea for this film when I was 17 in the aftermath of losing a very close friend to suicide. And it was a devastating time. You know, for me and most of my friends, it was the first real loss we'd known. And um, it was very interesting, you know, watching a lot of my friends, they sank into this very strange headspace that I couldn't comprehend at the time, just this total refusal to accept what had happened. And I didn't understand it until my biological father um, took his own life a year later. And then I understood them all too well. And um, so, yeah, so I really, I, I think I, I probably did draw on a lot of that when I was writing this film and directing this film and editing and all along the way. And I, I, think, it, I think it comes across. It does feel, I hope, very real and very very raw and I hope that people can feel it. And this is actually a concept that you had come up with during like the heaviest part of that time. And then you got this offer to write and direct a film and you're like, hey, why don't I do this one that hurt so much I had to put away for a while and now I'm gonna bring it back up. I did and I think, you know, from, from the time that I'd originally written the film, my father had took his own life. My former stepfather, Shane, had also died. I'd grown up a lot, the world had crashed and been through a pandemic, a lot of things had happened. Um, I wasn't 17 anymore, I was 20. And um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I had a little more experience and um, and I thought I was ready to tell the story. And here we are, Strictly Confidential yeah. was born. Yeah. yeah, and so you call your mom and say, hey, by the way, you always <laughs> said that you'd be in my first film. <laughs> so. It's funny, but I originally um, offered my mom the part. It was for a very small part in the film. And I said, look, um, you got, it's just a day or two's work. You just come in, come out. It's super easy. Please, it would mean the world. And she said, of course, of course I'll do it. And then, the and that was playing the wife of a big man's part in the film. And then I was writing and writing and writing. And I suddenly had this idea to switch the lead grown-up man's part to a woman. And then suddenly I thought, oh my God, my mom would be perfect for this part. And so she'd already agreed to be in it. And I said, look, oh, so you know that tiny little part I asked you about? Yeah, Lynn's and, part with yeah. three lines is now 30 pages. <laughs> I know. And um, and but she very, very kindly, she read it. She thought for a little bit and said, I'll do it. And it was, and thank God, because it was the best experience I've ever had. And I hope we get to work together many, many more times. Oh. Elizabeth, what is it like watching your son blossom into such a incredible creative human I mean obviously he's been creative a long time but to see it like on the big screen now you know it's been it's been a quite a ride um you know obviously as a parent you always feel incredibly protective and I knew that Damien could write the movie and direct the movie edit the movie I knew that but what I was really nervous of as he was so young was taking the weight of the movie mm. on his shoulder. I knew that he wouldn't yet understand how you get to the place where you're standing on the first day, say, mm. and action. I knew he didn't really know how the blood, sweat and tears that had to go into that moment. That's I what, know it now. Yeah, he knows it now. <laughs> that's what made me the most nervous. And that's where I felt the most protective. Yeah. The fact, you know, he hadn't had he didn't have crew members that he'd worked with for years he didn't have a team and I think why it was important for him that I produced this first movie for him is so that he knew that there would be one person who's unequivocally team Damien um and in fact I feel so much more confident now with him going into his second film I'm going to produce a second film but I think after that we'll have to see what happens because I feel he learned what he needed to learn on the first film I want to watch him do it on the second film and be there in case he falls. And then I think he'll he'll be fine. And that's- But my, I want us to work together forever. Yeah, that's my current. 
uh, that's the parent in me just wanting to check that her cub is looked after, you know. Damien, what's it like directing your mom and telling her what to do? <laughs> well, I was going to say, I mean, you know, the relationship between an actor and director and the power dynamic is confusing and complicated <laughs> at the best of times. But factoring in the child bossing around their parent. Um, but I've got to say, you know, we have a pretty twin-like telepathy and it was actually quite seamless. It, it really worked. It was actually quick. It's always quicker, I think, for him to direct me than anybody else, because, as you know, all family have a shorthand. And oh. whereas you have to be much more polite to other people. <laughs> to me, he just yes. said, oh, you missed your mark. Do it again. And I'm like, OK, fine. <laughs> so that was that easy. Mom, you know, <laughs> oh, oh. It's like, okay. That's amazing. <laughs> and did you purposefully write it in the Caribbean so that you guys had to take just like a quick little trip on over to a gorgeous island? Because oh, I feel absolutely. like that's what I would do if I wrote a movie. I'd be like, and we're in Fiji. <laughs> yeah, yes. It was interesting. I made it with the um, company that I made my short film, my, my first big professional short film with. And it was from that short film that I got a call from an executive at Lionsgate saying they wanted me to write and direct a feature. And so I thought, well, Got to get back there. And, um, and but it was amazing because, you know, when I was writing the film, I knew the island inside and back was this beautiful little jewel of an island in the Caribbean. I knew it really well. I knew its strengths. I knew its shooting weaknesses. I knew every location like the back of my hand. Um, and, and I knew the crew. So it was amazing. You know, it was the same um, DOP uh, cinematographer who I worked with on my short film. I felt in very, I, I felt really comfortable. And Elizabeth, in the last couple of moments here, just give us a brief synopsis of what this movie is and what we can expect to see as we sit there with our hands nail biting. <laughs> well, I would describe Strictly Confidential as a sensual mystery. It has disturbing themes running through it, but it is an enjoyable adventure to be on. It's not a depressing movie. So it's a haunted young woman who's incredibly sad about the suicide of her best friend a year previously, who goes back to the Caribbean island to be hosted by my character, Lily, to commemorate the death of her daughter. So my daughter is the girl that died a year ago, and I'm the mom. So the mom hosts Mia and all Rebecca, the um, girl who committed suicide, all her friends to commemorate her. But Mia has never been able to accept that her friend would kill herself. She didn't understand it and she felt that she wasn't there for her. She had let her down. So she decides to really try and find out what really happened to lead up to these events. And that's when we start the movie. And in fact, as she starts to investigate, she discovers that all of Rebecca's family members and friends are all harboring really deep, dark secrets, all of which have something to do with Rebecca. So Mia starts to untangle that. And that's you know, the tagline of the film is, you know, should some secrets stay buried? Because Ooh. things she starts to dig up have, they have really a long reach. So that's really where we start the movie. And it's a really good, exciting ride for people, I think. Well, you both are incredible. April 5th, uh, Strictly Confidential is going to hit theaters. And I... I cannot wait to talk to you guys again on your next big venture and to talk about the success of this film because I know that it's going to be fantastic. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you really. for having us. Thanks Thank for you. your time. I adore you both so very much. Give each other big hugs for me and enjoy your day. Thank, Thank you, you so you much. Too. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.